El Nido, one of the most famously beautiful places to visit in the Philippines. This small beach town perched on the edge of Bacuit Bay in northern Palawan is famous for its more than 50 karst limestones rising vertiginously out of Trulian waters teeming with colorful corals and fish. Named at various times by various agencies to be one of the most promising destinations in the world, El Nido, and the province it belongs to, is an ultimate beach lover's paradise without the suffocating forest of beachside hotels yet ruining the natural view. Dust explored on an island, hopping spree, El Nido islets and islands hide in their bosoms cavernous depths, sumptuous lagoons, uninhabited stretches of powder, fine, dazzling white, sand beaches, and wildlife not found anywhere else in the country. Boracay Island one of the most stunning beauty spots in the world this dark, bone-shaped island epitomizes beach bumming and partying from sundown to sunup. Rightfully the beach capital of the Philippines, Boracay's crown jewel is the four-kilometer-long white beach whose powder-fine sands and sumptuous turquoise waters give the Caribbean a run for its money. As the premier tropical escape of the country, Boracay has everything you may expect from a major city, international cuisine, five, star hotels, and riotous, booze, induced nightlife. If you've had enough of the madness, escape to Tuca Beach to the north where solitude, swaying palms, and pounding surf will keep you company. Easily one of the most beautiful places to visit in the Philippines, if not the world. The now rice terraces, a gorgeous beauty spot to visit in the Philippines not. Only are these rice terraces beautiful to look at but they are also more than 2,000 years old, having been farmed and developed by the area's indigenous people. If you view the terraces from the higher elevations, they are nothing short of stunning and they give the locals great farming space as well. Surrounded by lush greenery and a fantastic landscape, the Banao rice terraces are not the only rice fields in the area, but they are certainly the most prominent and well-known. They are definitely worth a trip to this area of the country. Chocolate Hills, an amazing and unique place to visit in the Philippines. Located on the Bahal province and named for the color they become during the wet and dry seasons, Chocolate Hills consist of more than 1,000 hills and are also home to the adorable tarsiers, which are the world's tiniest primates. At one point, the hills closely resemble the Hershey Kiss chocolates that people are so familiar with. Regardless of what color they are when you visit them, this is a beautiful area of the country that offers lots of color and greenery and provides a gorgeous landscape for you to enjoy while you're there. Coron, one of the most stunning places in the country the municipality known as Coron boasts crystal, clear waters, sandy white beaches, and some of the most beautiful landscapes you've ever seen. Included in the town is the Kaingan Lake, which has the distinction of being the cleanest lake in the entire country. If you visit Corin, you won't want to miss it. Best of all, you can take a group tour so that you don't miss any of the lagoons and islands in the area, since this is one town that always offers something for everyone. With just one trip there, you'll understand why this is one of the most beautiful places to visit in the Philippines. Mount Mayon, an active volcano, is southeastern Luzon, Philippines located in Albay province. Mount Mayon is the most active volcano in the country and is famous because it projects perfect symmetry and an iconic look. It stands at a regal 8,200 plus feet high and can be seen even from miles away. The perfect conical shape is truly something to see because most volcanoes are irregular in shape. If you decide to hike in the area, you can see the volcano up close, which is truly spectacular. Regardless of how close you are, you'll be amazed by this beautiful volcano and the town that surrounds it, giving it an eye-catching look. Mount Pulag, Luzon's highest peak located in Luzon. This is an overlooked area, but one that you won't want to miss if you love great mountain views, lots of greenery, and fresh mountain air. At more than 7,800 feet above sea level, Mount Pulag offers beautiful scenic views the entire time that you're climbing up or down. 
If you visit there at sunset or sunrise, it is even more extraordinary. At one point, you'll be literally in the clouds and the mountain's breathtaking views will never cease to amaze you, regardless of how many times you visit it. Lake Pinatubo, the beautiful summit crater lake of Mount Pinatubo created in the aftermath of the 1991 earthquake which led to the eruption of the once dormant volcano of the same name. Lake Pinatubo in the province of Zambales in the northwestern Philippines has grown to become a destination of choice for weekend warriors escaping the discombobulating traffic and stifling heat of the capital, Metro Manila. Sequijer, the pretty and mystical island to explore in the Philippines in Filipino folklore, Sequijer enchants with its mystic traditions and equally enchanting native, albeit raw, beauty. A small island floating between central and southern Philippines, Sequijer was once the stronghold of Catholic missionaries in the region best exemplified by well-preserved 300-year-old churches and a convent, a national treasure and said to be the largest in the archipelago.